Hello, hello, fart faces. This is Bev, aka Bev B. Diamond Pates. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have an unboxing, unbegging from a Canadian wax company called Sensible, Sensible by Design. I've been holding on to this, I've been meaning to open it, but I haven't yet. So let's open it now together. Woo, together like friends. Pour it out. We got some candy. Oh, wow. So, this is exciting. I love these. I love these Campinos. With love and thanks. That's a cute little detail. Move this light so it's not really... Okay, so this is vanilla. I'm going to smell it. Smell test. That smells like vanilla. This one is red velvet cake. It smells really good. Coffee. Mmm. Lemon blueberry, smells good. Cotton candy, ooh, that smells good too. And lemon. Oh, cute, look at the lemon. It has like a little leaves on top, like a, a lemon wood. And then this is grapefruit. Now this one, I've never owned wax that comes like in a little mold like this before, so that's exciting. It's so cute, it's like a little paw with a heart. Mm, that one smells, kind of smells like grapefruit. I wouldn't say it smells super grapefruity, but we'll see when we use it. So she does make, she makes wax, putty, and she also has really nice cover minders as well in her shop. She has tons of scent sense of wax and things like that so I'm hoping that this stuff will be awesome so I can buy more because I really like scented wax I like working with it um, and I like supporting Canadian businesses so that's exciting so this lemon one is a putty um, what else is a putty this coffee one is a putty and I think that's all I got for putty so I got two putties and these are all just waxes now we're going to test them out in a diamond painting. Let's put this aside for now. Actually, before we push them aside, let's try, hmm, let's try cotton candy. So we're gonna try cotton candy on a diamond painting. I have my pen that I emptied out the wax from and we'll try, we can also try and put it in the multi-placer. So to load the wax, all you have to do is scrape it Oh, and it's not like super hard or anything like that. It's kind of soft. And then push it in with your finger and wipe off any excess. See if this helps. Can you still see? You can still see. So wipe off any excess. We'll see if we need more than that. I think that pen is loaded. And then let's try it in my multi-placer. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing this. Hoping you can still see with the light off. Okay, so I think, is that in there enough? Pressing it in with my finger and wiping away any excess. This is my Enabler's Outpost pen. Yes, be jealous, it is beautiful. It's called the Galaxy Pen. Or Rachel's Galaxy Pen, but I call it Beverly's Galaxy Pen. If you want to see an unboxing for it, you can watch one of my previous videos. Um, okay, sorry, I just had to smell it. That smells so good. Okay, so this is cotton candy. So let's try cotton candy. Here I'm working on my mystical diamond art canvas. I'm almost done. There's her face. I'm almost done it, but let's see. Here. Um, right now I'm working on these green, green circles with the squares in them. So let's try with multi, or single placing. Oh, I like this wax so far. It's not leaving any residue. I do see some kind of creeping out the tip though, that's what she said. Okay, so there's some residue. It's not making that satisfying click. 
A little bit of a click, though. Okay, I like this so far. There's that click. It is making that satisfying click. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So there's the single placing. So far I really like it. We'll have to see how long it lasts. And then let's try the multi-placer. So Okay, so experiencing some residue in one of the drills got stuck in the multi-placer. Another thing, same drill got stuck. I like this though. The wax, I really like it. It's not leaving a lot of residue. It's coming out very nicely and apparently she has a version 2.0 where it's um, stickier and it lasts even longer. I haven't tested this out obviously since this is the first time opening it, but I will test it out and then I'll come back and let you know how long it took till I had to reload or I'll let you know my final thoughts on that. So that is the wax, cotton candy wax, and now let's try the putty. So we can use this pen. Oops, I don't make a huge mess. So we'll take out the pink wax that I have in this pen. we get all of it out which is the putty let's see we'll try this lemon putty because it's so cute so I'd imagine we do something similar you can see the pen just go right into the putty not entirely sure how to load the pen with the putty I would say let's just scrape a piece off and then shove it into the tip. Okay, okay. Let's do it this way. Do it in frame actually. Okay, so I think, I think there's enough putty in there. I'm gonna take my tweezers and shove some, forgot to take the pink wax off the tweezers, shove some down here into the pen. I don't know if you can see this, but okay. So now we have the wax loaded on the single tip. So we'll try the single tip. Get my drills out again. Ooh, this one makes that satisfying click. Let's try it in my multi-placer. I know sometimes some wax isn't made for multi-placers. Um, some putties aren't made for multi-placers, but I want to try it anyway. Just because I'm curious. Okay. So if you're wondering what the putty feels like, if you do use sticky tack, that is what I would compare it to. I'm just going to shove it in there and then pressing it down, hopefully you can see this. Now I'm going to pull away any excess, there it's in my multi-placer. Um, we're going to have to switch colors so let's see. So we're just going to switch to this L symbol which is 930 for DMC. Put some down in my tray and then let's use the multi-placer end that's filled with the putty. Ooh, it makes that noise. Okay. 
can't load my multi placer correctly, apparently. I like this. Very satisfying. Okay, apparently I can multi place. So I'm going to go away right now. I'm going to use this for a little bit and then I'll come back and let you guys know my final thoughts. Okay, BRB. 15 minutes later. Hello, I'm back. So, I diamond painted for about 15 minutes with the wax and the putty, and I really, like, for my personal um, use, I really like the use of the putty in the multi-placer. Like, the wax worked great in the multi-placer, but I just prefer the putty just because it made that satisfying clicking sound. Um, in the multi-placer with the wax, it left a little bit of residue, but I found that the more that I diamond painted with that and um, the less residue and then eventually there was no residue but it was still really sticky I never had to replace it once so I'm really impressed with this wax I would highly recommend it to give you an idea of the cost a model like a, a molded a molded wax I don't know what to call it a molded wax like this costs five dollars Canadian so that's around probably 450 American um, the art putty or the diamond art putty costs around I believe it's four dollars so that's around probably 350 360 American and the wax itself costs uh, three dollars so it's like really affordable and you do get quite a bit in these little uh, jars so around this is probably around 269 American and she does have an Etsy shop and to give you an idea of like how many different types of waxes she has she has 13 different kinds of molds listed in her Etsy shop right now 47 different waxes and 38 different putties so there's something for everyone a scent for everyone and a, a style for everyone so that's really exciting I'm kind of addicted to wax if um, like I just want to try all the wax in the world and I really like this wax so I would recommend it to you guys I'm definitely going to be buying more some of these I bought to gift to some of my friends so if you are one of my youtuber friends you might be getting a little jar of a of sensible by designs wax and I'd just like to thank Amy for giving me an update so there are there is wax 2.0 and that is available now on her Etsy shop um, apparently they have less residue or they don't leave a residue and they last even longer which I can't like these are already great I can't imagine what version 2.0 um, is like so I'm really excited I'm going to try version 2.0 and get back to you guys on that but thank you so much for joining me in today's video if this video is helpful please give it a thumbs up if you're new here I'd love to have you as part of my hive all you have to do is click that subscribe button I upload new videos on a weekly basis okay talk to you guys in my next video bye